I'm going to surprise you what I'm going to do with the pizza. It's going to be good. Oh, so good. Good evening. Sweet Nene's Kitchen. Welcome one. Welcome all. Guess what today we're going to make? Today is Saturday, by the way. On Saturdays, I don't really cook that much. But tonight, we're going to have karaoke. So, I'm going to be making a homemade pizza. As usual, I wash my hands. Everything is clean. I'm going to start with the pizza dough. This pizza dough is fresh. I got it from the local stew linens. Um, if you've never been to a stew linens, look it up. It's fresh pizza dough, so I'm going to just take it out of the bag. I'm going to just put a little olive oil on my hand uh, because we know pizza dough is very sticky. That's just extra virgin olive oil. Just to really get it out so it don't get all on my hands. I'm going to take it out the bag. Mmm, smells nice and fresh. I got this at the stool Linus yesterday. So, just rub the little olive oil on my hand. I'm just going to put this down to rise a little bit before I make the pizza. Also, I prepared the pan with just a little bit of parchment paper. I'm just going to put a little olive oil on the bottom of the parchment paper. Just to make sure it doesn't stick. And let me just do this with the pizza dough. I don't know how to throw it up. <laughs> like the, Let me try it though. Let's try it. Ups. Ups. I think I'm doing it. My pizza is going to be square. Uh, not round. So, I'm just going to let it fall out. This is going to be a good crust. Okay, my pizza dough rolls a little bit. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stretch it out to the length of the hand. It's not going to be an easy task. But the pizza dough has warmed up a little bit. Trying to make it cover the length of the pan. And I don't want no holes in it. So be careful when you're doing the pizza dough. You don't want it to rip and have holes. Delicious. I'm going to have a nice salad with this. So we're having, it's Saturday, so we're having pizza and salad tonight. As you can see, I stretched the piece of dough the length of the pan. And I'm just going to let it rest again. Okay, so now I'm going to make the pizza sauce for the crust. So what I did, I just buy a cheap brand of uh, marinara sauce. And I add uh, my ingredients to it. I like it like that. It's a little bit better and this way you can control what you want to put in it. So this is just a cheap jar of marinara pasta sauce. I'm going to try to open it. Oh. Whew, I'm not that strong, people. Wow. Okay. Still not that strong, but you know the trick. Put a little hot water on it. And I should be able to open it. That's what I'm going to do. Put a little hot water on it. I'm going to try it again. Oh. Okay. Not working. I'm struggling, people. I might can't even make the pizza. If I can't open this sauce, I can't make the 
make the pizza. Ah, turn the stove on. I'm going to heat it up a minute. Okay, let's try. Say good luck. Woo, I did it. Half a jar of the marinara. I got a little oregano. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of oregano in this. Just a little bit. Because it's also seasoned, but I just like to add extra seasoning. Um, this is a little bit chopped onion. A little bit of Italian seasoning. You know we got to add that. I'm just going to shake a little bit in there. That's flavor. Mmm. A little bit of ground black pepper. Just a little bit. Then, my mother always taught us if we're using tomato paste, tomato sauce, any kind of tomato sauce, just a little bit of sugar. Take a little of the acid out. Not much, just a little bit. Put it in there. I'm going to just whisk it around. Mmm, that smells so good. I didn't put no salt because, you know, most of the times, uh, store-bought pasta sauce has a lot of salt. So, I don't put it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it on low for a good 30 minutes and let it simmer. I'm going to put the top on it. And for about 30 minutes, I'm just going to let that simmer. Just stirring up this pizza sauce. Now it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. I'll say another 15 minutes and it'll be good to go. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half or two hours. Look at that pizza dough. Mm. So what I'm going to do, what I like to do, I like to bake it for about 15, 20 minutes on 350. Just uh, because it's a little thick. And just to make sure it's done before I put the toppings on Today's toppings, I will be using pepperoni and red peppers, yellow peppers. I just took the pizza dough out the oven. Look at it. Just 15, 20 minutes. Now what I'm going to do, remember the sauce that we made with the marinara sauce? Nice. I'm just going to spoon it right on here. Mmm. It smells so good. I cannot wait to have a piece of this homemade pizza. And with this tomato sauce, it has a little bit of the tomato chunks in it, which is even better. you guys I was gonna put peppers on here but I changed my mind because as you can see I have this gorgeous salad here and it has red and green and orange and yellow peppers so I think that'll be too many peppers so what I'm gonna have I'm gonna just put the um I'm gonna put a few pepperonis on top of the sauce because you know I, I really like pepperonis and I believe Sometimes you go to the pizzeria and they don't give you enough pepperoni. This is some stool in it, mozzarella cheese. It's eight ounces. I'm not going to use all of it on there. Just enough to make it nice and cheesy. This is better than going to the store and cheaper. Um, I don't know if you believe it or not, but it's cheaper to make your own food at home. When I was at work, I did, we did eat out a lot, but now that I'm home, it's easier and I like to cook. So after I do my four hours of work a day, and, but today's Saturday, so I don't have to worry about working. Just making my food. have a salad ready that is going to be so good 
So I'm just putting a few more pepperonis on top, and I'll put it back in the oven. Mmm. Again, I do love pepperoni, and you know, you go to the pizza shop, they don't give you that many. So this is going to be one meaty pepperoni pizza. You guys can make this at home with the kids too. Let them put the pepperonis on it, things like that. I don't have any little kids. That's the finished product before it goes in the oven. Mm, look at that. Mm, I'm about to put it in the oven. 15 or 20 more minutes. And it will be done. And now we have the finished product. Look how good that looks. Mmm. Pizza, anyone? Mmm. Have some. Look how good it's looking. I'm going to use the blush wine vinaigrette again. Shake it up. A little bit for my salad. And again, I'm not going to use the fork. Because we're from New York and we don't use forks. Look at that, how the cheese and the pepperoni is dang. Mm. You're going to love it. Try it.